Okay, let's see what, if this is any good. It totally slipped by me, this game. Um, and then the, the creator, I think, reached out to me. Jesus, that's loud. Excuse me? Oh, wait, I need to not do that. I need to go here and do this. Okay. It's <laughs> so tiny. I'm looking at like the center of my screen. Wait, is that really it? Can I alt enter or something? Ah, oh, there we go. There and there. Okay. Let's see. Looks pretty. Now let me switch to headphones since it's horror. There. Okay. Ready. Ah. Whoa. Whoa. That's high sensitivity. Um, oh my god, and then the X. See how tiny it is? Now it's not full screen anymore. Mouse. Okay. Wait, can I do... What the fuck is this resolution? Like, what are you even doing? That's better. It's still really high. Jesus. Okay. Did it remember though? No. Well, that'll have to do. It's relatively new, yeah. I think it came out like last week or the week before or something. Press F to use the flashlight. I was already using it, but thank you. Where do I go next? <laughs> the, the urge to press L2 to open a map is big. That's where I came from, isn't it? Oh no. Is it gonna tell me C to crouch? Control. Hold it to crouch. No, it's toggle to crouch, not hold. Space to jump. Oh, hold right click to lift objects. Move. Awesome. That looks great. I can run too. Left click to interact. Hello? I am Detective Gabu. I am here to find your story. A welcome note from the maid named Elizabeth. Oh god, I have to read it like that though. 1949. Welcome to your new home. This estate was built in 1924 for the Hartwood family was abandoned in 1938 after the father had passed and the rest of the family had moved. At least until you found and brought, bought the land. The shape of the ma manor is a bit rough around the edges, but with some renovations it will look wonderful and up to date. I was a young maid for the Hartwood family before they left, so if you have any concerns and need a tour around the estate, I would be more than welcome to. I wish you and your family happiness. Sincerely, Elizabeth. That would be amazing if you could, re if you could write like that. Well, Elizabeth, where are you? I don't see you. I should close the door. Don't let the cold in. Okay, I really need to... Maybe I should use my mouse thing. 
That's already at the lowest. Okay. Hello? I just thought of the... Am I hearing someone? How's the sound? Is it too soft now or is it okay? Can you hear that the step footsteps a little bit? Photo of the family who once lived here. No one cleaned that up. Because it is way softer now than it was just now. This person has either gone mad or truly has found something very odd. I've been reading through this book learning about resurrection, but there doesn't seem to be a documented way of bringing a human back to life. There are mentions of blue fire that the writer labels as sp spirit fire. I thought it was Spitfire. But I haven't seen any blue fires, so how would I even be able to start experimenting? The only thing down in the chamber is the circle. Wow. Good follow-up from Alone in the Dark <laughs> to this. <laughs> Can't hear the footsteps? I can turn it up a little bit, because it seems soft now. Um, give me a sec. Ah, fuck. I have to exit to desktop. Eh. Eh. There turned it up higher now. I have to bring all my windows back up. There. Okay. Should be a little bit louder now. That's dangerous! Don't sit so close to the fireplace unless you want to burn your shins. Okay. What is my flashlight doing every now and then? Yep, I beat Alone in the Dark. So then I was like, you know, well, let's do some indie horror. Can't sleep at night. Spent all day... I spend all day struggling to hold myself together. Oh, hoo hoo, Servin. Thank you so much for the bits. All day struggling to hold myself together at the brewery just to come home and read through pages to try and bring Mary back. The only thing that keeps me from losing control is to drink in secrecy while at work. It at least gets me through the day, but something needs to change. Mary is all that matters. I need a drink, by the way. Speaking of alcoholism, let me get some water. <laughs> it did remind me that I'm thirsty. This is on PC. Oh, I got it for beating alone in the dark. Thank you. Okay, so there's an old family and then there's a new guy that comes in but he lost his wife and he wants to resurrect her. That's what we managed to gather so far. Those candle things are really cool. I feel like I'm gonna get lost in this house. What's this? Oh, that looks like a puzzle. This must rep represent some kind of sequence. I wonder what it's for. Oh, I forgot I can rotate. This is un the unborn icon. You know what? I'll just uh, take a picture. <laughs> there we go. Okay, another door. I found what seems to be a hint for a puzzle of some sort, but what do the circles represent? Is this for the secret room that this book mentions? Ooh, I'm going to keep searching even if I don't fully believe. It at least keeps my frantic thoughts occupied. It's whenever I look up or down, like the flashlight kind of resets. Can I... Might be some... something to pry it away with. Can't we crouch under it? No, it's too low. Okay. So we need to find like a crowbar or something. Maybe a hammer? Hmm. 
Nothing outside. Oh, hello, lady. I don't want to go outside. Ugh. Who wants to go out in the rain? Let's leave that for later. Okay. Have I read this one? Kitchen currently under renovation. Okay. Wonder if we're gonna see spooky things or not. Okay, back in the main hall. So, there's still the garden we can look at. But for now, I'm gonna leave it. Oh, the grass is coming inside! Progress saved! Oh god, it doesn't have checkpoints or anything. Ah, fuck. Okay. Guess I'll remember that. Old newspaper clipping. Did someone who lived here own this brewery? The local cravat brewery was found engulfed in flames on October 18th during the night. The fire was put out, but unfortunately there was not much left of the brewery. Police did not know the cause of the fire they are looking, but are looking into the situation. Whoa, it disappears. There's no backside! Okay. Wait, what? He's having a hard time with stairs. Okay. Well, lots of individual stuff. It's a nice mansion, though. Lots of books. Hmm. Hello? Oh yeah, I was saying. I just thought of a... Uh, I've been... Uh, I, I asked someone to work on an intro for my videos. Like a very simple intro. It's not going to be anything special. It's just going to be like the Triple G logo appearing, basically. Me... And a mouse. And a demon. Um, but I was thinking I wanted some sound to go with it. And I think I just thought of it. I think I'm going to do... Try out... I don't know if it sounds any good, but I might do like a a door that like creaks open, that sound effect, like and then me like, hello. <laughs> First chapter of what seems to be a story written by a child. Chapter one. There was once a young knight named Sir William. Sir William loved to make adventures and was always exploring the world. He had a young sister who he protected from monsters. One morning, Sir William woke up to find his sister missing. She was taken by an evil wizard and was keeping her in his dark and scary dungeons of his castle. Sir William wasn't scared of anything though, so he wanted an adventure to the he started an adventure to the evil wizard's castle. Written by William. Surprise, surprise. Okay. That would be great. <laughs> I lost her, tried everything, but I failed her. I failed our children. The doctor said it was a fever, but that was bullshit. It ended up being worse. Don't know what I'm feeling. Is it anger? Sadness? Word part worst part is I can't control it. Mary, I love you. It was not your time. Hmm. Yeah, so she just got sick. I've been feeling ill the past few days, and it's been getting worse. Daniel invited the doctor over and has told me I have a dangerous fever. Doctor is dumbfounded as to what is causing this, but has subscribed me some medicine. I pray this helps. Okay, so that was the wife. Chic wife. Hmm. I wonder if we're gonna find a crowbar or if I'd already mis misplaced it. 
page one of an old book. It talks about a man named Thomas Hartwood and why his family lived here. Okay. A group named Dion Born. Oh. I've been asked by the Lord to bring my family to live in this home and protect the artifacts, to study and document my findings and bring them to him. In turn, he promises immortality for me and my loved ones. I shall not let him down. The unborn will rise again and defeat death. My name is Thomas Hartwood. I am unborn. Hmm. Uh, things are getting slightly interesting. So at least there's an icon if I can interact with anything. So I hope I haven't misplaced the... Or missed the crowbar or whatever I need. Discovery of a mysterious book with even more mysterious concepts. This book I found in the library. It's written by one of the family members that lived here before us. It speaks of resurrection and fire that burns blue. What is this nonsense? This is offensive to the ones we've lost. Resurrection isn't real. He apparently wrote this for his lord, whoever that may be. It even speaks of a hidden chamber be be beneath the manor. Oh, I want to see! This book is full of fake stories and false idols. I'll search this whole dent home for a chamber to prove this. <gasps> but then he finds it. That's cool. Okay. <gasps> Safe? Yeah. The hammer... What? Hammer's lease? have officially taken me in as their maid. It has been a long while since I stepped foot in this house. They haven't been given me the key to the forest yet. But I should still have an old one hidden behind the lone tree. Now to begin the task I've been blessed with. Oh. What if the maid is the previous, the Hartwood's mother or something? She's immortal and she's just coming back to the house like a hundred years later. Oh, puzzle? It's a safe. If the code escapes me, I can use these clues to remember. North of 12, where sound is frozen, where horrors of the night take refuge. What? North of twelve, where where sound is frozen, where yeah, horrors of the night take refuge. Hence for each number. Hmm. What can be north of 12 though? Like it's already the most northern point. It has to be a single digit, right? Hmm. I don't know if we're already supposed to know it or if we actually have to find locations in the house that point to a number. But where the fuck would sound freeze? Door is locked, you will need to find a key. What? When did that happen? Oh shit. How hard is it to find? Wait, does that maybe mean that the clues are in this little bit? Is there a clock in here? There's a scale there. Okay, the flashlight resetting is pretty annoying. It's an hourglass here. Oh, clock. <gasps> Six! Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. So the first one is six. Then the second one is where sound is frozen. Horrors of the night take for a fierce the last one. Where would sound freeze?
Where would horror take refuge? The clock was probably the easiest one, huh? Is it maybe under the bed? Because the monster is under the bed. Four. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Okay, now we can just guess the last one, I guess. I have to click on the... Naha! So it was three. I don't know why, but... Old magnifying glass. Might be of some use. This looks like the maid's writing. Mary has passed away. Now is my time. I have planted the book in the library in the open where he will surely see it. Oh, once he reads it, he'll be... Oh, he'll be a pawn! This is for you, my lord. I am unborn. Oh, I was right! Well, not, not completely. I mean, I'm not sure if it's hardwood, but... What would be the frozen sound one, though? I wonder. What do you guys think? Music, yeah, maybe. Maybe it's like behind the photo. Yeah, maybe this dude then. Don't see a number though. Yeah, sound would be frozen in a picture. That would be a good one. But I don't really see anything. Oh well. Wait, it's still locked? Wait, there's not even a doorknob anymore. Should we use the magnifying glass? Use? Oh, I dropped it. How do I pick it up now? Oh. Hmm. Oh! I got it on the light! That's nice. Wait, so what... What am I supposed to do? The door is locked. We got a magnifying glass. I feel like this might be a doorway or something, but... Hmm... God, that damn flashlight. Just stay put, will you? Oh yeah, I can jump. Forgot. How do I use it? I can only drop it, I don't want to. 
says Jews are dropped, but how? <laughs> That's the question. He's got loose wrists. Does the clock do anything? Oh, the clock gave us a number. I can't interact with it at all. Hmm. Okay, let me see. Inventory. We got the hourglass, uh, magnifying glass. So there's got to be something we can do with this. But if we do that, then we just drop it. Put the magnifying glass on the other table to match this one. Oh shit, they're identical. I didn't even notice. Oh. Okay. <gasps> oh my god, thank you, fruits. Oh, I'm so crouched. I am unborn. Take. Take. Thank you. Oh, I did not see that. Okay. My task is complete. Daniel stepped into the veil, believing the answer to resurrection was beyond. He is now with my lord. Being a mere vessel is now his existence. Floating in the edge between both worlds, it's quite a beautiful sight. A oh, water burpee. I can feel the veil even on this side. The fog is sleeping. Fog is seeping through the portal, connecting me and everyone to my true home. I hope my lord is proud of me. I hope I am a worthy daughter. Hmm. Oh, that was a tough one. So can I open this now? Um... Well, it's gone now. <laughs> Can I please leave? Let's try again. Uh... Okay, so I have to use the key. Put back. Let's let's only grab this one for now. Take. And try to open the door. Oh, it just opened now. Did I use it? No, I did not. Wait, what? That's kind of weird. Um, well, I guess I'll save that. Okay. Having the key in your inventory, I think, unlocks it. Oh, okay. Weird that it didn't work before. And now, for some reason... Okay, my... Holy shit, that's that's insane. Okay. Uh, so we have the cellar key now. If that reloading didn't work, I would've just quit the game. I'd be like, oh, I'm done. Bye, I'm born. <laughs> Which is kind of sad because it seems to be pretty interesting so far. I like secret stuff, but... It needs to work. Light! Bye, Rico! See you later! Ecos. Now we just need to find a settler. Let's see. Where are we gonna find it? Do you read this one? Tested spirit fire on a dead crow. Results are beyond what I thought was possible. The fire began eating away at the flesh, but the crow began to twitch like life itself had returned to the bird. Still don't know how or if this is connected to the veil. Did this fire originate from there? What else is beyond? I will dig deeper into any possible connections at a later date. Okay. Is 
A ghostly experience? Oh no. Never. I don't believe. So we need to find the... You have to leave the house and go right to find the door. What? Cellar is outside? What the fuck? Uh, I don't want to be out in the rain. Jesus, how do you even know to check here? Okay. Well, we're in. Right. Ah, uh, I'm not gonna read the child thing. Whatever. Get things you can write. <laughs> Anything hiding behind here? No. Creepy cellar scraper. Oh yeah, very creepy. I am so scared. I don't think there's gonna be any creatures in this game. I was thrilled when I found out the estate had this enormous cellar. This will be perfect place to keep all of my samples from the brewery. My first project will be to fully renovate Removate? Removate this area into my very own bar. Looks like it got pretty far. Ladder? Can I take you? No. Okay. Meh. Still can't get rid of those. Maybe we're gonna find a tool here. Go into the little alcove. Can I go in there? Oh, motherfuckers. Okay. Take it. Added the maid's key to your inventory. Are you fucking insane? Jesus, game, get your shit together. Oh, this is making me angry. Thank you, guys. And thank you for subbing. Thank you. Okay, so what am I getting here? That I removed the floorboard or the. Oh, that? Lockpick. Nice. Okay. We got something. Oh. Oh. Uh, so there are creatures in here. What do I do? Wait, is he just coming for me? Ah! Oh my god. Wait, are you gonna kill me? Huh. Okay. Nah, fuck it. Oh, fuck it. Is this where you're gonna put me? Wait, what do I... Okay. So we should just head outside. There he is. He's still here. <laughs> Let's go. Can you climb? I would like to see you get over these boxes. Yeah, I didn't think so. Oh, can we get the axe? That would be useful. Hmm. Let's just save and then at least we got this. Okay. Okay. So... Now we can open up all the boards and stuff. 
Yeah. Look at that. Let's have a look. I finally hung all of my paintings around the manor. I'd forgotten how many there were. Tomorrow I will set up my painting supplies. Perhaps in the room across the hall from Daniel's office? Can't wait to bring the easel outside and draw the beautiful scenery near the pond and the forest. I wonder what else is out there. Huh. I don't know, lady. Or dude. I'll just turn the lights on wherever I go. That way I know where I've been. The amulet in the cellar. Oh, I did not. Fuck. Today I discovered the chamber. I can't believe it's real. I didn't think this could be possible. There's this odd stone circle with an altar. It looks older than the manor. If the book was right about this, then that could mean the concept of resurrection is possible. Do you know where to get it? That picture. I wonder if that monster is still there. A little box on the chair in the bar area. Oh yeah, but it was locked, Fruits. I need some kind of key. Oh, I used the lockpick. Oh, of course. Okay, let's see if there's a monster. At least I saved. That's good. Monster Kun Doko He's definitely here. I hear a heartbeat. Might be to my right right now. That's where I hear the heartbeat. Mm, we didn't see him, so great. Got it. Thank you guys. Gonna do this without you. Yes, I finished Alone in the Dark. Okay, saved. Nice. Let's go back to exploring here. This is amnesia. Oh, the chair scared me. Something scared me. Okay. Finally. I'm not 100% dead inside yet. Oh, stairs. I thought that was someone else's footsteps. We can also still check out the kitchen that was under renovation. Oh, this one isn't open. A visible note on the desk. <laughs> oh, really? Nah, we're good. Let's check here. It's turning! Who turned it? Today was the beginning of experimenting with the veil. It might be dangerous, so I will refrain from taking, making physical contact with it for now. I attempted to throw a stone into the veil. Wow, that's quite some experiment. Curiosity's sake, went through but never came back out. I unlocked the cage that held that crow previously brought back to life and the crow flew right into it. It was as if it was being called into the veil. Hmm. Wait. Oh. Oh, I see.
We decided to let the maid Elizabeth live in this state with us. It's quite massive and we won't find any use for a few rooms anyway. She was very persistent on having her bedroom in the room just off of the library. Which was a tad odd, but she has been lovely so far, so I wouldn't sh couldn't say no. She always has a smile on her face. Always happy. Creepy! Woke up today to something breathtaking yet horrifying. There were hundreds of crows circling the manor. They weren't normal. They had glowing blue eyes with a fire-like aura around them. Why were they all here? Went to check on the portal to the veil. Through the darkness I could see the crow that flo flew in hovering in place staring back at me. Is this why the crows are here? Follow the crow's path into the veil? Hmm. That's pretty cool. Story so far is really cool. I just wish that I don't know, for some reason this really irritates me, the way this game has to be played. Oh, we're here now. I see. Let's check that kitchen that was under renovation. Removation. Uh, here. Ah, oh, I can't open this one? Well, shit. Was there any other place that was boarded up? Not really sure what else there is to look at. We got the amulet. I wonder if there's something we can uh, we can hang it on something maybe. Oh, there's more grass coming in. I have a serious grass problem. Today's research will be cut short due to waking up in a mild fever. Seems that the spirit spirit fire might indeed be from the veil. Seems to almost be a way of connecting this world with the veil or perhaps something in it. What's more, this fire somehow brings life or something close to it back to victims of death. If that isn't already peculiar enough, living things inside the veil are able to communicate between worlds with its own species. Oh, there should be a record we can play. Yippee! Hey! Thanks so much for the five months! Awesome! Thank you, thank you. So many subs today. Ho 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 ho. I am one happy girl. They are just straight coming in now. Okay. Um, yeah. I guess I should go back and play that record, huh? Let's see. Mm, main hall? Jeez, that was... How big is this place? Okay, here we are. Uh, I think? Wait. Where am I? Oh, here we are. Jeez, I was really confused for a second there. Was it upstairs here, though? It was a different upstairs. Oh my god, this place is big. This head wobble is making me a little bit nauseous. I don't think we can turn it off, can we? only we could. Okay, let's take a little break because the running is making me sick. Ugh. No. Oh, bye, Bonoro. Good night. Whew. Okay. 
We are 362 subs. Oh yeah, we've been here before. As well as the kids room with the Sir William story. After the vinyl, you have no idea. Hmm. I kind of want to see it through, but at the same point, I, I don't know. I feel like this game is good, but maybe it misses just sound effects and stuff. Maybe it misses music. Four notes on the piano. I don't know if we've seen a piano yet. I'm guessing that globe was then through. I kind of want to run, but at the same time, the head bobbles making me nauseous. So, gotta take it easy. How's your courage today? Yeah, <laughs> very good, Lucas. Cause I beat alone in the dark. That was great. Okay, so I came from here. Oh, we haven't been here yet either. The garden. Piano is on the second floor. Oh, okay. Let's see. I should pass by that globe at some point. I think. That was here, wasn't it? Or was it... Was it back upstairs through that boarded up room? I thought it was the stairs here somewhere, maybe. Jammed from this side. You mean jammed from the other side. Oh, I bet it was back to the eastern side of the house and then... Oh, I can't even go here yet. We stopped at exactly the point where we couldn't go further. Huh. Record is sitting on a table on the second floor. Thank you so much, Caitlin. Ooh, this head bobble. There should be an option to turn it off. I would rather just glide through the room and not get nauseous. It's probably not helping either that I'm hungry, you know. Because it is... what time is it? It is 12.44 and I have not had breakfast yet. 1 p.m. Tables in the hallway. Yeah, I just need to find my way back to it. Ah, uh, wait. If I go up the stairs... Okay, I'm running for a bit. Oh, maybe it's better with one eye. So you don't see depth. Okay, so... It was somewhere here. Oh, here it is! So I need this. Um, it's a record, but... Are you sure that's what I need? Is it this one? Should be able to pick it up. Hmm. Maybe it's too early? Like, move it. Yeah, I'm trying right click, but... There's no icon or anything. Oh, I got it! <gasps> okay, I got it. There's the piano. Okay, whatever I do, I have to not drop this. This is important. I do not want this to drop through the floor. Okay. Oh! If that fourth note was any different, it would have been um, fucking Fatal Frame 4. Remember?
<laughs> nice. Take it. Inventory's full. Are you fucking kidding me? Unlock the cellar. Fuck that key. Forest key. How would a forest have a door, though? That's what I want to know. That's the song. Isn't it beautiful? I actually could have been a singer in real life, but I chose to play video games. I should save. Um. Okay. Forest key. Where would a door to the forest be? First floor, there's a locked door that will lead to the outside. Oh, that I'm, we might have been there. Uh, where we turned around, remember? Deep breaths, deep breaths. The look at the face wobble. Face wobble. <laughs> Now I want to play Fiddle Frame 4 again. Me. Wait, did I just go in a circle? No. I think it's this door. Oh, it's not! Ah, motherfuckers. Okay. In the unfortunate case that the portal becomes unstable, which is which by the way can be incredibly dangerous, there is a way to close it. The very fire that comes from the veil can actually burn away the direct link between both worlds. In order to light the fire, however, three items are needed to be placed in proper order on the pedestal. Three items are, the, are from the world behind the veil. I shall detail them tomorrow. I must rest for now. Hmm. <sighs> if only he would include that in one note. Lovely tune, I can die peacefully now. <laughs> oh, this thing. Yeah, I forgot. Door to the outside. Near a smaller set of stairs. Okay. I think we passed one of those. Now I have the song stuck in my head. Wait. Ah, shit. Okay. Small stairs. It's on the other side of the house. Who does it anyway? Write notes and leave them all over the house. Yeah, just bundle it in like one notebook. Please. Might be on this side. This house reminds me of the Winchester Mansion. Because <laughs> it's so big. Maybe here? Hey. Okay. I don't think I have a map, no. It didn't tell me I had a map or anything. You have to find a small pond with a statue in the middle. You'll have to collect the planks of wood scattered around the area. Oh! To complete the bridge. That will be a monster. Of course it will be a monster. Do I collect this? How do I... Oh. Here you go. Oh my god, running with it is absolute torture to my head.
Oh, Jesus. Um. Ah, there we go. It's really hard to pick them up, though. Okay, there we go. There we go. Can't we just jump that? Come on. I can jump. I bet I could make it. Ah, doesn't let me. Ah, there he is. I think he sees my flashlight. Okay. Come on. Come on. What if he comes back though? Oh, there he is. And I'm fucking carrying this wood around. Pain in the ass. Just walking circles. Come on, yeah. Okay. Is he trying to sniff me out? Oh, there's multiple. What? That's unfair. What if they all come after me? Is this back? Yeah. Okay. God, this head wobble is making me sick. Oh, he saw me! No! Fuck. How on earth am I now gonna get that fucking piece of wood? Here. How am I gonna get this? Oh, he lost me. Come on, grab it. Ah! He's coming. Oh no, this is gonna be annoying. Oh my god. These game mechanics are gonna drive me insane. Gotta drop a key, you're right. We're never gonna find that key again. <laughs> okay. This is annoying. There's too many! Shit. Fuck.
Okay. I wish there was like one safe path from them. Oh, there's wood here. Can't tell me that you can't jump this. Oh, it works! I don't need all of them. So... I need the flower? How do I get it? Take. Okay. So now I just need to get out of here? Back to the house? Okay, thank you. So I, I'm just gonna completely rely on you guys from now on because this is, uh, this is annoying. Oh, they're not gone yet. Okay, let's run. Yeah, dude, whatever. Stupid wood. Ah, shit! Oh, that's close. I don't wanna die. I don't want to have to do this again. Okay. <sighs> okay. Let's go find a safe spot. I'm being a little bit careful now because I keep thinking I'm hearing stuff. Here we go. Okay, progress saved. Yay! We did it! Find a broken window on the first floor that has a lot of vines coming through. Oh, I know where that is. You can crouch jump to get outside. What? Once outside, you have to jump over a fence, reach a hedge mage on the other side, and unlock the door from the outside. Make access easier. Oh, damn. I think that was here. A lot of reliance on chat today for, for gameplay. <laughs> Thank you guys. Wait, Caitlin. How much longer is the game and the guide that you're using? Jump over this fence? Majestic. I want to finish the game. There we go. Now it's open. Are th if there are monsters in here, I'm gonna be pissed. It's also just because I'm hangry. I'm sorry, game. You look beautiful. You just really have to work on your... in your, on your interactions with objects. That's all. Story is cool so far. 
There are monsters in the maze. Of course there are! Good timing. So <laughs> that end. Well, fuck me. I think he moves. He does. Oh, fuck. Nah, fuck. Well, we're gonna wing it. See how far we can get. Looks like he lost this. Maybe not in 20, 30 minutes? Okay. Okay, then we'll finish it. If it was gonna be much longer, then I would have been like, fuck this game. I, I'm gonna. Oh, I thought that was a face. I'm gonna fucking eat breakfast at 1 p.m. 2 p.m. and watch X-Files and be hangry. Won't be hangry anymore. If only I had yogurt though. Is this a doorway? Stone runes on the ground. You have to pick them up and drop them on their corresponding statue. What? You mean here? Or is it further down the hedge? Do I have to be at the fountain? Should I go back? Hidden within the maze. Fuck. With the monsters? That's fucking annoying. Why would it not also just save everything you do? Just save with every statue. Oh, Lima! Hey! How you doing? Long time no see! Thanks so much for the resub. Mm-hmm. I found one. Wait, I have to carry this around? Oh my god, I have to find the right statue for this one? That could take hours. And I have to avoid monsters? That's insane. Well, I'm dead. This is a dead end. There are only two stones. Oh, okay, so I just have to switch them out. I'm so hungry. <laughs> if only there was some indication of how to get uh, somewhere. Oh, is this the entrance? Oh yeah. Okay.
Maybe here? Yeah. Oh no, there's more. God damn it. I don't have that one. I'll just leave this one here. For now. Because this was the one that we saw. Well, let's put that one in its right place then. I hope it's here. If only there was sort of like a... Ah, yes! Sort of like a clue for... Um, but like maybe the light on the stone points in a certain direction or something, you know? Let's hope that didn't reset them. I hope that guy's stuck there. That would make my life easier. He is. Haha. <laughs> okay, now we just have to find that other one on the left side again. Or right side of the... When you're facing the... When you're standing at the entrance, it's on the right side. Somewhere. Just gotta find it. I am so nauseous. Ugh. I think it's there. Not mistaken. Yeah. Come on, pick it up. Shit. That's two. Now where was this one? Ah, I remember. Okay. Maybe they're both stuck now. At the end of the <laughs> game you find a bottle of Dramamine. <laughs> oh, that would be nice. Never go into a maze with an empty belly. Yeah. I need food. Still stuck? Still stuck. Okay. Fucking did it! Whoa. Is the dude gone now? Nope. Okay, so... We're gonna have to go all the way around. Is it that end? Yeah. It's starting to know the maze now. Just don't look at the screen. Just don't focus on the screen and you'll be fine. See if he's stuck too. He might be. This is where I left him. Oh, he's not stuck. He's fast. I think I'll just have to wait here for him to pass them. Okay. Do not focus on the head wobble. Do not focus on the head wobble. And I'll be good. Okay, so. It opened up a thing. Oh, the head wobble's so bad! Okay. <sighs> Can't not focus on the screen. Yeah. 
Go back to the middle. Blue fountain. Behind the fountain there's a cave. Go into the cave. Safe spot. And the stone basket. Oh, did I miss that? I definitely want to save, yeah. Okay, I don't see it yet. Is it obvious? Will I not miss it? Saves all the way at the end of the cave. Okay. Thank you, Caitlin. You're such a big help. Save points. Oh, yes. Let's do it twice. Yeah. Okay, and a basket, you said? see a basket. Maybe I can open this? Oh, casket. Oh. How do I open this, though? Oh, 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 I just pick up the whole thing. Uh, interesting. Mother of the Hartwood family, okay. Unusually cold. I mean, it's a skull. Okay. Uh, what was the key for? Forest grounds. Drop that. Okay. Can't hold three keys. Nope. I got a skull. What do we do? Do I burn it in the fountain? Return to the house. Loca locate the area of the house which has a small angel statue. Picture pictures with wall lights around it. Hmm. Hey, baby girl! It's been so long! Good to see you! Okay, at least we were able to save. That's nice. We never, ever have to do this again. Isn't that great? So that dude's probably still walking around. God for, thank God for that little roundabout there. <clears throat> Grown to love the maze. <laughs> um, I'm back. So next up we want to find an angel statue. Got it. God, it would have taken me like six hours to do this by myself. West side of the house, first floor, near the living room and dining room. <gasps> Caitlin, you're perfect! Okay. Let's find it. Mazes are awesome. Yeah, mazes are cool. Let's see. Uh, west side of the house, first floor near the living room and dining room. So that's where I am now. Let me just walk back and save first though. Just in case. There. Okay. 
Okay. So, I gotta find an angel statue with lights around it. Near the dining room. I'm guessing that this is that dining room. Okay, I was there just now, so... Wait, you mean this? This is it? So there's eight paintings? There's eight circles on the picture. There's eight lights. Oh! Okay, so if the angel is the front, uh, then that means the second one needs to be on. Or turned, I guess. Okay, so crooked. No, stay on. Then the last one. And then the last two. That it? Touch the lantern on the Look at the picture with the castle, touch the light on the left side of the picture, touch the photo of the bench. Okay, so I'm I probably have it um mirrored then. That's fine. And then these two on the end. And then this one back. Here we go! Nice. We don't need no ladders, we just drop down. Okay. Ah, here's where the head goes. Do I have to use it? <laughs> I, I forgot the neck. <laughs> I am an angel. <laughs> so what now? Am I gonna get anything? Use three items on it. Oh, okay. Uh, the amulet. There it goes. And the flower. <laughs> I'm so happy with this flower! Oh! Oh, hey. Okay, can I... I can't... Uh, okay. I can only... Okay, there you go. There is no option. I can't live another day without knowing. My children have ran away, leaving me with nothing. I've been drinking, enraged, hopeless, a husk of who I was. I know what I must do. My next moments will be reaching into the veil and finding hope. I bring hope to bring my family together again. Well, that didn't happen. Is that it? So the dude we've been running away from was like the husk of the last owner of the house. Can I light the candles? Find the missing candlesticks and put them on the altar. Wait, do you mean the ones throughout the house? <laughs> there are three and they're all in that room. Oh, 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 oh. Good timing. They're all here? Behind the altar? Wait, did I just... Oh... Wow, I would not have seen that. Okay, right click.
Oh, that one flopped into place. <laughs> can I can I get you anywhere? Oh. Oh no. There we go. He really needs more hints on this. Like, he, you need to find like a file that says like find all the candlesticks and they're all in here or something. Surprise, surprise. Oh! Find a different way outside. This doesn't seem too hard. Is everything on fire? After we reach the house again, the game will end. Oh, yay! I can't open the door though. Should I go in? Well, this is spirit fire, Jose. Try to leave. Oh, okay. George and Chris, why? It's so close to being good, but it's not good. <sighs> it also misses just any music throughout playing the game. There's nothing except for the notes that try to make it at atmospheric. I think you were playing our very first game. Oh, very first? Okay, okay. I'll go easy on you. Learned a lot, worked hard in our spare time over the last two years, oh no. We have results something we are extremely proud of. We hope you've had an enjoyable experience and your support means the world to us. Well... You might want to work on that. Okay, we can just exit the game. There's like... Uh, so there's cool puzzles. The puzzles are good, but the monster design is very lacking and unintimidating. And item placement and just item management is fucking hell. Like, there's no reason they would have to limit inventory to five slots. Like, just make it, just make it like, uh, make it unlimited. And like, you don't even have to show people what they have because we don't really have to pick between items or anything. If we have the item, the item is going to be automatically used. So, there's no need for that. So, like, starting off, you you do the puzzle for the safe, which was a really good puzzle. That was really cool. Good hints. And then you get the hourglass. And then the mirror thing is also really cool, but it was really hard, but it was a really cool idea. But then, like, just, just highlight where the hourglass can be and just click on it, and then the hourglass will be there, and it's done. Like... You don't have to go in your inventory and try to use it like that. And then the mess with the keys, like... And then keys are, are automatically used, so... the That was just the most infuriating bit. And then the monster is just killing you instantly. Um, but they are super slow, so you can deal with it very easily. But it would be better if they're faster, but... Like, they don't kill you in one hit, if it's like... I don't know, maybe two or three hits or something. And then you auto heal after a while if they're not I'm behind you anymore or not. John's going to go insane when he just picks up the sar sarcophagus lid. <laughs> I 
Um, like, I would even like it better if there were no monsters. If it doesn't try to be a horror game like that. If it's just like, uh, like uh, The Initiate. Remember that one? It's just puzzles and a dude talking to you. I really enjoyed that one. I feel like I could enjoy the environment and the story better if there was no annoying monster to run away from. And they also just need to place their... The time, they need to time the placement of their notes better. Uh, like that puzzle with the with the, the lights that we moved. Like, you find that way in the beginning of the game, but it doesn't become necessary until way later. So that note has to be right in that room. Otherwise, you're not going to put two and two together. Um, that's one thing. And for the candlesticks at the end, at the altar, there needs to be a note there that says, like, there are these, find the missing ones and they're in this room or they're nearby. Because otherwise, you're not gonna... I was, I was prepared to just walk away, find something else in the house to use. Until Caitlin was like, that you have to just find them there. I was like, what? There's, like, a lot of direction missing for the game. And they need to really think about how they place their items uh, better. And just do, do a different item system. Like, the thing with the bridge wasn't bad either, but just remove the monsters, otherwise I would not have enjoyed making a bridge at all. <sighs> I think it I think it would have been better if it wasn't a horror game. It can, it can still be a horror game if they work on, like, their sound design. If they put, like, creepy music in there with some cool, like cool sound effects. Just remove those monsters, because they're just just there to annoy people. I don't know. Yeah, the skull was so cute. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. I mean, of course, hats off to them. It's, it's hard to make a game, so it's very impressive, and they worked in their spare time on it. Um, but... They really, like, I hope they at least use the feedback from people that play it to their advantage and maybe make like a 2.0 or just a new new game with a better, better mechanics because the story is actually pretty good, so it just needs a better coat. Yeah, but that's it. Yeah, let me run some credits. We had such a good stream today. Uh, let me see. Yeah, I'm excited to play more... Um, Alien Isolation. I wasn't planning to play it until like next week, so that's why the schedule's a bit messed up now. But because we finished Jumaniki early, I was just like, let's do it. No worries, Caitlin. That was really good. You were such a huge help. I wouldn't have gotten through this game without you. <laughs> Servin, Axo, and Gom, thank you for the bits. Oh, and Kazdo too. Thank you, guys. Thank you everyone who followed today. It's good to have you and I'm glad you liked it. Thank you Stitch, Liz, Liago, Rob, Reco, Reco, Deco, um, Astra, Cry, Dano, Jilb, 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 Super, Kippy, and Lima for the subs and resubs. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. It was great. It was such a good stream. I really enjoyed myself even though I was just hangry at the end there. We ended the night on 362 subs so ha, huh, that's amazing. I will end the stream. And uh, host someone if there's someone online. And then fight some food and then we'll watch some X-Files. So let's do that. Thank you guys. It was awesome. I'll see you later. Bye.